Hi, I'm Cherie, and I'm here today with a, a video for you on opening up your heart and your mind to love and joy and stepping into your full expression of power. Last week, um, I did a video for you, and I included three resources of books that have been instrumental for me and that I really think are would be wonderful for you if you have not been exposed or introduced to Louise Hay and her wonderful books. I invite you to look for last week's video. Uh, if you're here on YouTube, then it's there. You can go to my blog at shereevalentine.com forward slash blog and peruse there. I pretty much create videos on Tuesdays and Fridays for you. Tuesdays, Focusing more on relationships with others, love, partnerships, children, parents, that sort of thing. And on Fridays, what I'd like to do is focus more on you. Because all relationships begin with you. You are the common denominator in everything. And having a really amazing relationship with yourself is going to guarantee that you have amazing relationships with others. And having a really good relationship with source, whatever that may be for you, however you may call that, higher self, divine oneness, God. Um, but having that connection to source also is going to help improve all the relationships in your life. So today I wanted to tell you a, a story, and this hadn't been my intention earlier in the day when I thought about today's blog, but it is just, first of all, pretty ridiculous, and there's so much joy and laughter there, and some really good lessons, and that's the whole point, on, is to bring you some information where I can offer you some great insight and some tools that will help you in your journey to love, joy, and um, also... The messages that keep coming to me as I'm asking, how can I bring more light and love into this world for myself are playfulness, um, being more lighthearted. And so I, I believe that's something I can to share with you. So that was definitely one card that I pulled today for myself, and I pulled it two days ago also, so it's kind of repeating. Um, the other card that I pulled for yesterday and today by the way, on asking two different, very different questions, was the spiritual law of attraction. So I really feel that that's something I want to talk to you about, and um, um, a power card, which is actually from Louise Hay, which I pulled today, um, is I am totally adequate for all situations, and I am one with, I'm going to show you the card, this is like the card that I pulled, and then this is the back where it gives a little bit more, and it just says, I am one with the power and wisdom of the universe, and I claim the power, and it is easy for me to stand up for myself. And that's not always necessarily an easy thing for many women to do, especially in relationships. So I really thought it was kind of important um, to share the cards because... They weren't a specific question to me in pertaining to what I was asking for one of my own really you know one of my own questions in my personal life or my it was more of a general so I thought okay the message is to share it and so I got I just got off the phone a little bit ago with a friend of mine um, and again I just think this story is worth sharing because it will bring into it will bring together those those principles that I just shared with you. The spiritual law of attraction, the playfulness, and being adequate and feeling adequate and standing up for yourself. So just yesterday, no, I'm sorry, Wednesday, I had lunch with my friend. And she clearly said to me, you know, I just know it's really not time for me right now to have a relationship. I'm still having, I'm still letting go of the last one. And when I broke up with her boyfriend several years ago when we had kind of met she knew that it was more time for herself and really developing more of her own inner strength and wisdom and intuition and trust and then you know she met a man and they were in a relationship for a couple of years and in many ways it was very positive it taught her wonderful things um and but it also wasn't the right one and that also taught her lots of things and one of them is really standing up for herself. It's showing up in relationship and standing in her own space, asking for what she wants to receive it. And what she found herself doing was old habits and patterns of just trying to please and do everything for everyone else so that they would love her. And she didn't realize that's what she was doing um, at the time. And when the relationship ended and we kind of, you know, talked and 
explore. That's what she discovered. And so anyway, Wednesday, she says to me, I just think it's time. I, I just want to, you know, it's time for me to develop more of a community, have some fun, meet some new friends, just enjoy my life and, um, and just stop worrying about finding a, find a partner. And today she calls me and said, you're not going to believe this. But I've been online and I've been corresponding with a guy and we were playing words with friends and chatting back and forth and it was really pleasant. So we asked if I would could call if he could call me or if I could call him so we could just chat. Which is I always recommend. It's a good thing. Yes, you can only do so much communicating online and if there's a good vibe, the next step is to to speak on the phone and if that seems good then meet for a brief time and then kind of take it from there. And so she um they spoke, it was, it was pleasant and pleasant enough, and they agreed to meet for coffee. And she show, he showed up, um, and the first thing she said to me on the phone was, I'm so tired of everyone who lies. And I said to her, well, not everyone lies, just some people do. And she said, that's true, but everybody that I know lies. I'm like, I'm sure that's not true. And she said, okay, so all men lie. And I said, now, listen, I just got to share with you that the spiritual law of attraction is the card I've pulled twice. And the reminder of that is that we draw to us whatever is going on within us. The vibration at which we are pulsing is what, we show, what shows up in our life. So if that's true, which, who lies to you? Which men lie to you? And she said, well, just every man I've ever dated or been with or had a relationship with said, okay, that's different than everyone. And I said, also, where did it really start? And she said, with my father. I said, okay. So the work for you to do is to really clear that, to heal that, to forgive that, to understand and let it go. Because as long as you're holding on to that belief and that energy, that's what you'll keep receiving. Okay, so that's an important lesson. Oftentimes we think we're ready to date or we think we're ready for a partner or we think we're ready for... Um, the next step in our life, whether it's a job or a career or something, but if something internally isn't in alignment with that, if we were believing and thinking and telling ourselves something else at a very unconscious, subconscious, deep level, that's what you're going to be receiving. So you really want to check in with those inner beliefs and see where you're at. The other thing is, I always say, let's turn everything in, look at it as a mirror. So where are you lying to yourself? If this is what you're seeing, you know, where, in, where within yourself are you lying? And she immediately said, well, I'm lying because I'm really not ready for a relationship. I really don't want a relationship, and I'm telling myself I do. Okay, then. And I said, and doesn't the universe have a great sense of humor because it gives us exactly what we ask for? So if you really don't want a relationship, do you think he, she's going to, he's going to, you're going to, you know, you're gonna the man who's going to be everything you want? What good would that be if you're not ready? Oh, so we had a good laugh over that playfulness. So this work doesn't always have to be so serious and heavy because the more humor and lightheartedness that we can bring to it for ourselves, the more maybe we're open to seeing other perspectives and seeing it in different ways. And so um, it gets even funnier because she says, okay, so I show up and here's the thing. He told me in his profile that he had a full head of dark hair. He has bald and gray hair. He's shorter than me, and I could smell his B.O. under the cologne, and I'm thinking, you couldn't even take a shower to meet me. So it really wasn't a good, it wasn't a good start. And then it gets even better. He literally, after sitting there for a few minutes, asked her if, he wanted to, if she wanted to go back to his house. Uh, no. Do you want to go for a walk on the beach? No, it's like five degrees out and kind of cold. And the third question, um, well, let's go sit in my car in the parking lot and suck face. I just burst out laughing. Okay, you're making that line. You're making that up. She's, I'm not. That's exactly what he said to me. So clearly the answer to that was also no for her. And she also knew that it was time to end the date um, standing up for herself. And I was sharing that story with my husband. And he's like, there's, that's not real. And I said, you can't make this stuff up. And I said, I, I just think it's just so, one of, first of all, so disturbing that a man would actually approach a woman that way in any way, shape, or form. But the sad thing for me is that I think there may be women who have so little self-respect or self-esteem or boundaries for themselves or so lonely that 
they may have had a different reaction to that. And so it's really important to have, to understand that you are adequate, that you are more than adequate and you can handle all things and you can stand up for yourself. And so that's a good example of that in a very extreme way. But also it's those everyday little things where we're not maybe showing up and saying no when we need to, when we're not standing up for what's important to us. And it can even be that you're exhausted and you've had the longest day and you've got a lot coming up and a friend calls you and needs you to do something, but and you had been looking forward to like a night with your children or just a relaxing night with your husband or just, you know, a quiet night by yourself. And instead of checking in and honoring what you need, you say yes to the friend. And that isn't standing up for yourself. And, and, and I know it's not, yes, we need to be of service and yes, we need to reach out and help others. But it begins with us. It begins with making sure that we're taking care of ourselves and that we're nourishing ourselves and, and that we're getting what we need so that we can say yes and no when it's right for us. So that's just um, a deeper, deeper level there. So anyway, we, we talked a little bit more about that and we realized, you know, I reminded her of what she told me a couple days ago about it not being time. And um, so the spiritual law of attraction is always at work. Our thoughts are extremely powerful in what we think we create. So if you want to have a different experience in the future, stop thinking what you've been thinking, if what's happening right now is not what you want. But also understand that those thoughts, sometimes we're not aware of the thoughts that we have. We're not aware of the internal chatter that goes on, or the things that we tell ourselves, or the subconscious, unconscious thoughts that we have. So take a look at what's going on in your life, in your relationships, um, in your job, in your home, in your health. And if what's happening isn't really what you want, then ask yourself, what have you been attracting and what needs to shift within you? What movement do you need to make to go forward? I hope that you found this helpful. Um, if you've got some things going on in your life and you want a little perspective, you can reach out to me at sherievalentine.com forward slash invite love and uh, just answer a couple of questions so I know what you want to talk about and then um, get into my calendar so we can have a conversation. Uh, let me help you maybe see what's maybe going on internally that you're not aware of so that you can make some shifts and be aware of maybe what you're thinking and some things that you can do so that you are enjoying love, joy, playfulness, laughter, and power in your life. Have a wonderful weekend.